Well, hey everybody. It's good to be here. I'm excited to be up front. Well, I, I'm probably a little too excited. I like speaking up front. It's a good time. Sometimes the people that ask me, it's a, it's a regret of theirs. And so I might do something foolish or something. Well, actually, I will do something foolish, but it's too foolish. I apologize. It's good to be here tonight. I am excited, uh, very excited, because David is a very special part of my life. And uh, Emily has become that as well. And I just am delighted that I get to share this with them. And so. Hopefully the love that I have for them just oozes out of me and you receive some of that. But well, you know, David here I'm calling him David. I really hardly ever call him David. I usually call him Dave. And you're thinking to yourself, why are you calling him Dave? I mean, I don't know. And maybe his mom's thinking, like, I named him David. I don't want to call him Dave. Right? Maybe that's just a put on. But long ago I started calling him Dave, and I think it was around the time that I learned that he hated it. <laughs> I remember his first reaction, he really didn't like it, but like a lot of things between us, he learned to love it. <laughs> and now I call him Papa Dave, it's actually it's graduated into that, so it's even better now. And then that's kind of the, the essence of our relationship, I feel like it's, we're just fire and ice and it's just so good. I, I usually don't think before I speak, and he's usually always thinking before he speaks. And he's always coming up to me and saying, what in the world are you doing? And that's just, again, the essence of our relationship. But I love him for that. It's, I wouldn't be complete without it. <laughs> just to give you a, a little feel, too, and some background, too. David is, he, he looks normal. I, I, I know he looks normal. It's not true, actually. <laughs> David is the kind of guy that you might be going to your underwear drawer to start off your day. It's a Monday, and you're, you're excited about the new week. And then all of a sudden, you just an odd smell in the room. And you're like, well, it's probably something weird, who doesn't? And then you go and you're going through your underwear drawer further and you find an entire steak in your underwear <laughs> Cooked and everything. Like, wow, I don't even eat meat. This looks like a good piece of meat here. It's gross that it's in my underwear drawer. That was an experience of mine. Two days later, there was another steak in my closet. Found out that it was actually Hayden Hayden that blessed me with that. <laughs> So yeah, if that's ever happened to you, that's probably pretty weird. Probably hasn't happened to you that happened to you with David. He's a good friend. <laughs> that's, that's only the beginning. I mean, there's like running barefoot to the cafe and stealing floral arrangements and all kinds of wild things. David is an interesting man, that's to say the least. And I'm glad to know him. But I mean, honestly, before I completely just destroy him here. <laughs> there is love, and I, I do love him quite a bit. David is someone I love because he commits time and he's a loyal friend. And I, you know, I might say that at first and it sounds cliche and you're thinking, oh, that, that's cool, he's a loyal friend, you know, it doesn't really stick with He is loyal because he shares time in a very, very special way. I have a few friends that show such dedication to my life and um, it, it's hit me right in my heart and in a good place. I can still remember the first day I met him, and I can't think of all my friends, and he has had a huge impact on my life ever since. And loyalty is something that when you find out in someone and they accept you for the weirdness that you are, it is a wonderful, wonderful thing, and David is always doing that, and he's always seeing for me for who I am, and I appreciate that about him. So yeah, that's something that if you, you know David, hold on to people like that, that's a special thing, and I love that about him. But, um, I really wanted to highlight uh, some of that loyalty and time spent by the fact that love does. And I'm going to read a little passage by Bob Goff here, but it's something that kind of was part of their relationship as well. I know that Emily said, hey, read this book, and David read it, and it changed a lot of the way he thought about life. And um, I, I love to love, too. I'm a very excitable person, and um, I feel like David's someone who always can see that in me and bring it out, even on a bad day. And I thought I'd read from this uh, book and share a little bit of that. Okay. Let's see here. It says, there is only one invitation it would kill me to refuse, yet, it tempted, yet I'm tempted to turn it down all the time. I get the invitation every morning when I wake up and actually live a life of complete engagement. A life of whimsy. I love that word. I use that a lot more. After a life where love does. It doesn't come in an envelope. It's ushered in by the sunrise. The sound of a bird or the smell of coffee drifting lazily from the kitchen. It's the invitation to actually live, to fully participate in this amazing life for one more day. 
Nobody turns down an invitation to go to the White House, but I've seen plenty of people turn down an invitation to fully live. Turning down this invitation comes in lots of flavors. It looks like numbing yourself or distracting yourself, or seeing something really beautiful and thinking it's just normal. It can also look like refusing to forgive or not being grateful or getting wrapped up around the axle with fear or envy. I think every day God sends us an invitation to live, and sometimes we forget how to show up and get head faked into thinking we really haven't been invited. But you see, we have been invited every day, all over again. And that's really special to me because I feel like that's that's an essence of my relationship with David, and he's someone who taught me that. I remember the first time I looked on his computer, I went into his room with the PC, and he had these notes to himself to train for his triathlons or what his goals were. He's a very determined person, and he was always about doing, and his intentionality and tenacity are something that I just absolutely crave and I, I need to be around. So, Emily, I, I'm so jealous you get to be around all the time. What a wonderful thing. And I, I can only wish you guys the best, and I love you lots and lots. Thanks for the time. Congratulations. Here's to David and Emily. <laughs> 